hello everyone so we will continue our PySpark tutorial so in previous video we have seen like how actually we can create a data frame how actually we can read a CSV file JSON file how actually we can write a CSV file JSON file everything we have seen and also we have seen like how actually you can filter your data how actually you can sort your data right so in this particular video we are going to see th more about the aggregation function grouping how actually we can do it okay so let us start with okay suppose you have this particular data frame this is the data frame which I have created okay in this data frame you will see first name middle name last name date of birth gender and salary okay so suppose there is one scenario okay suppose you want you are only interested in a first name gender and salary this is the three column only you want to select okay that is the requirement you have to select the specific column for that we use a select for that we use a select in a five spark okay select in a five spark so what is the syntax we have to write df dot select okay and which particular column you want to see you want to see the first name so you just write first name comma you also want to know the gender so write gender and also we are interested on a salary okay salary and dot so if I will do dot so means it will it will be shown okay you can see first name gender and salary you are able to see okay so that is how to select the specific column we use a select okay now let us move further let us try to understand the aggregation function sum average count this all the things if you want to know how actually you can do it okay similarly in a uh, SQL also we were using when we have to find out the sum of salary based on the gender okay suppose here also if you want to find out what is the sum of the salary based on the gender okay you can see in a gender we have a two category one is male and the female and also we are getting a blank also right so suppose if you want to find out what is the sum of the salary of the male what is the sum of salary of the female so if you want to find out that how actually you can do it okay so for that we use a aggregation function so for that we have to use a group by okay so what I will write df dot group by okay and we want to group based on the gender so I will write gender and if you want to find out the sum right sum of the salary so just write dot sum and the salary column name okay so this is how simple it is and if I will write dot so you will be shown okay I have written two dot okay so let me rerun okay now if you will see you are getting a data male total salary is 13,000 female total th salary is a 500k okay male is 130k okay like this we can use a different kind of the function okay now suppose your requirement is like you want to find out what is the different kinds of the value we are getting in a gender column okay okay so, so to find out that we can use df dot group by in a gender column what are the different value we are getting we want to find out the count okay so we can use this dot count dot so if I will write you will be able to see ma male we are getting two female we are getting two and blank also is coming one time okay similarly if you want to find out what is the maximum salary from the male what is the minimum salary from the female if you want to find out that how actually you can do df dot okay group by okay I want to find out uh, based on the gender I want to find out the minimum salary dot mean salary okay dot so if I will write that I will get to see based on the gender what is the minimum salary we are getting okay similarly the, for the maximum salary we have to write the same max salary okay right okay and suppose if you want to find out the average also so for that AVG you can use it average okay similarly we have different kind of the aggregation function which we can use it okay so sub okay so suppose you want to find out the uh, different uh, minimum maximum average uh, count everything we have seen right similarly if you want to find out the mean also so all the aggregate function whatever we have in a sql here also it is present i hope you got it in next video we will see how actually we can use a joining and union how actually we can perform in a pie spark